about our lesson today. For the 4th of July, we are gonna be making these really cool firework designs. It's gonna be awesome. Now this is a mixed media project, so you're gonna need more supplies than we usually use. You'll need markers and old markers are better because there are so much colors being layered onto this project. The markers are going to kind of get smudged and mixed together so old markers you'll need two pencils uh, one can just be your usual pencil the other needs to be an old pencil that you don't care about that you're okay with getting white paint on the eraser you'll need your ruler so that you can create the border if you choose not to have a border you don't need the ruler You'll need a white acrylic paint and you'll need a white gel pen. Okay, let's get started. Step one is you are going to begin by drawing five stars. And you'll just draw your star by making an X and then putting a vertical and horizontal line through it. Once you've made your stars, you're gonna expand them and make them larger by adding more lines. And you're just gonna keep making your stars bigger and bigger. Keep adding lines, your fireworks should begin to overlap. Watch for your fireworks to get near the edge of your paper. And once they get near the edge, it's time for step three. Step three is to add your border. You'll grab your ruler and make a straight line at each edge. If you have some fireworks that are going over the edge, don't worry. It's just going to make it look like they're coming off of the page. Once you've created your border, you will trace it with black. And if you have any of those fireworks that are going off the page, just sort of trace around those as well.
then you can go ahead and fill in any small gaps that you have as you're doing this. You don't have to color the whole page in black yet or anything like that. Step five is to continue to add more colors to your fireworks. Once you've worked on your fireworks some more, you can return to your border and start expanding that inwards as well. And you're just gonna do that by making small lines that go towards your fireworks. And once you've done that, you're gonna add a little more to your fireworks. So the idea is we're just working back and forth between our border and our fireworks until everything is sort of touching.
Next, you're gonna add dark violet to your border. We don't wanna use just black on our border because we want it to look like the fireworks are lighting up the sky around them. So if you have a dark purple marker or dark violet, you're gonna work that through your border next. And step nine is to return to working on your fireworks and add even more color. Step 10 is to add blue to your border. So our border is getting even lighter as it gets even closer to our fireworks. white spaces are fine because it's just going to look like light that is shining from your firework. Be sure that you filled in any gaps before moving on to this step. You'll grab your white gel pen and begin adding even more highlights. You can add little stars in the background or sparkles coming off the edges of your fireworks. While we're working on this step, I would love to tell you about my upcoming virtual art camp where you can make even more cool projects like this one. We will be making art based on the work of famous artists like Picasso, Kandinsky, and Cezanne. Camp will run August 3rd through 7th. Camp for 1st through 5th graders is from 9 to 10 a.m. Camp for 6th through 8th graders is from 11 to 12 and class for 9th through 12th graders is from 1 to 2 p.m. 20% of all proceeds benefit Iredell Arts Council. Registration opens next week, and I will put a link to that here in the description just as soon as it opens. You can also find registration details on Iredell Arts Council's website and their Facebook page, so be sure to check those out as well.
tracer and you're going to dot that into the middle of your firework to create the brightness of the explosion. If these don't look bright enough, you can repeat this step to make them brighter. We are almost done. Grab your little brush. It's time for the last step. Thank you for drawing with me today and happy 4th of July.